Hi guys, welcome to yet another lecture in your JSON class and in this lecture what we are going to do is see the different data types in JSON. I know we have theoretically talked about it, how similar they are along with JavaScript. But in this lecture we will see the actual data types, some examples so that we understand better on what these data types are. Now one thing to note is that when you go and check JSON object, there are different data types. So in JSON values must be usually in one of the following data types, a string that's one of the options then you can have a number you can also have an object just like the JavaScript object we have we can also have a JSON object you can have an array or you can have a boolean which is a true or a false and if nothing you can have a null value now the way the JSON is different than JavaScript is JSON doesn't allow few of the data types so the first thing that it doesn't allow is functions so you can never have a function in your json file let me just put a bifurcation here not allowed in json so one is a function the second thing that is not allowed is a date so remember in javascript we had a date object we are not we do not have that kind of a feasibility in our json object and of course the last one which was the undefined which was one of the you know initial values for any variables when it came to JavaScript however JSON doesn't support that so let's quickly go on and start seeing one of these items so the first thing that we are going to see is of course a string so when you want to see a string you can just do a variable x is equals to again just like you define your object you will have a name value pair so name and whatever is the value of that string again all of it should be in your double quotes so the way you have it is x is equals to name john now you can also do a console log and again the answer will be the object that you see so let's run let me turn the console out let's run this and you can see that's an object and the object is name john so again by default it will actually display you the string that you have in x which is the json object now again when you're doing a console log you will see an object however when you want to actually you know convert everything into text there is a method or a function which we will see in the next video now that was about the string now let's try to reallocate the value to a number so the way you want to do it is if x is equal to a number what you will do is again you will have a name value pair let's say age and you can say age is equals to 25 now numbers do not need to be in quotes so that's one thing that's different than JavaScript you know the string so if you see age 25 you do not need a quote for numbers okay let me move this console.log at the end so we know what the value of x is going to be now if you want to make sure that it's an object doing it as an object is very easy so let's say you have an object which is for employees so what you can do is you can just give the double quote start employee so that's your employee object it has to be enclosed in parentheses let's say you have a name and you have a value let's say John Doe so you have John as the name okay now this is first key which is this is the employee and it has a name now it can have more parameters so along with name it can have more items so what you can do is you can move it to the new line so that you can see the first parameter is John give a comma so now you can have the second variable that you want let's say you want to add the age so age is again 25 which is a number so you do not have to worry about what was uh, the data type all always whenever you do not give a double quote it's assumed to be a number let's say you want to give another variable say city so you have to make sure that it is in quotes and you can say New York okay so that's how you can write your objects in JavaScript as well as the JSON objects the way you're preparing it so that's very easy to do if you have multiple employees you will pretty much enclose it into array so now let's say what uh, the result is you run this and you can see the object of employee output it onto the screen now the values in JSON can also be an array so as I mentioned you can have uh, x is equal to an array too in the JSON so what the way you can give it is you start with the name or the key so let's say employee and the value can actually be an array so yes so the way you can have it is let's say John Tom 
abhai so these are the values for your employee now if you run this again you will see that you have uh, okay it's not cleared it's not assigned yet so x is equals to let's run it again and you can see the employee john tom and abhai got displayed again this is an array so you will just iterate over the array the way you do it in your javascript now you would have guessed it very easily on how the boolean is going to be and i'm sure you would have already thought about to you know do it yourself so let's do it let's say what the value would be so let's say is the sale on or no in that scenario you can have a value as true or you can have a value as false it's very easy and again just like numbers you do not put quotes when you are giving a boolean value so let's clear and you can see sale is true and of course the last but not the least which is the null value so you can give anything that you want to like you can initialize x is equal to something and you can give it a value let's say employee and you can give it a null value rather than a array and let's clear the console run it and you can see employee is null again you do not need to give quotes because if you give quotes this becomes the string value so it will give you a string of null versus the null value so this is counted as a string it's not empty okay so that's the difference between null so that's how you can actually create your own json objects and the, again we have just output it onto the console but this might be an input to any of the api and then uh, this might come out from any of the api actually so that you can use it in your application to display a lot of data that you want to now again as usual i will be sharing this jsbin url with you so you have all the examples with you in the resources section if you have any questions on the data types that we have seen so far for the json object let me know in the q and a section or in the comments below and i will be super happy to work with you in any case i will see you in the next class